Hey, 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 welcome to this Facebook Live. I'm Terry Ann Hyman from Natural Forces Studio and the Empowered Spirit Program. I help people empower their spirit through intuitive tools and spiritual development. Yeah, so come on in. This is your energy focus for the week, June 25th through July 1st, the last week of June. So come on in, join me as we begin to focus our week and wind down from all the activity. We had a very intense week. Did you notice, right? We had the summer solstice. We had a super new moon. So how has this been affecting you? How is it for you on a Sunday night? Do you find it really intense? Are you able to really wind down and focus your energy? Let me know. Give me a comment below. What is it for you on a Sunday night? Do you want to keep on going for the weekend? <laughs> I know I do. Or do you want to come in, refocus? I know that's what I need to do. How about you? Give me a comment below. Let me know what the Sunday night is for you. Lots of anxiety or do you find it easy to refocus? Let me know. Come on in. If you do me a favor, as you make those comments below, share this with others. All right. Just hit the share button. I'm going to do the same right now. I'm going to find it. See if I can find it on Facebook and share it. Come on over. I'm going to share it to my group. And actually, I'd love for you to join my Facebook group, Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. I've got a lot of great things going on over there. And even in this next month, being my birthday coming up, I'm going to be sharing lots more, offering readings, offering the opportunity to really win some bonuses from me. Here we go. All right. I'm going to share this on my timeline. I'm going to share this with my group. So I hope you'll do the same for me. And let me know how you're doing on the energy of Sunday night. What is it for you? Do you find it really hard to wind down? Or is this helping you to pull your energy in? Which is it? So join me. Share the button. Come on in. All right. We're not quite at seven. Yes. But at seven yet. But we will be soon. So come on in. We're going to do talk a little bit about the cosmos. <clears throat> what's going on for the week. And then we're going to do a nice alignment of energy, energetically focusing your week. So come on over and sh share this for me. That would be super great. I got one more share here. Yeah. So there we go. All right. Here we are. Seven o'clock. Yay. Welcome. So come on in and join me. How's the week been for you? I'm gonna light a little sage as we begin to pull our energy in from this week. As we begin to focus and set our intentions for what is happening in the week ahead. Lighting a little sage as we call in. How is Sunday night for you? I know sometimes for me it can get a little bit like, ugh, another week. But when I find that when I pull my energy together and focus, then I can really put my to-dos out, plan my week, and then close my computer and spend the rest of the evening just kind of relaxing. So I hope that is what it is for you as well. Let me know how you feel about this and below. Give me some comments. We had a really intense week with that summer solstice. I love the summer. Yes. And then we also had that super new moon. That's a time for setting intentions. And actually... Actually, you can take these next few minutes and finish writing out your intentions. We still have a few hours left of that new moon energy. So write them out. I wish. I intend. I was up at the medicine wheel today writing out more for myself. How about you? How many wishes did you write out? How many intentions were you able to write out for your own self during this new moon energy? You can get up to like 10 a day according to Jen Speller Astrology. That's what she suggests. I sometimes have trouble finding 10. 10 new wishes each of the two and a half days that we have. What about you? Did you set some new intentions out for you? Were they the normal intentions or did you go a little bit wild? That's exactly what I'm going to be talking about on my Empowered Spirit Show tomorrow. I'm going to be reading from the Wild Unknown deck. All right. Do you find that you're always getting in the same groove, making those same intentions? Or do you open up a little bit? Hmm? Give me a little comment below. Same intentions or can you get a little wild? 
All right, we have a very intense week coming up ahead again. We start out pretty good, all right? We start out Monday, Tuesday. We're working on those intentions we set. We can be very productive. And then towards the middle of the week, we're going to find the energy starts to shift. We have a lot of Mercury energy happening, all right? Not Mercury retrograde, but Mercury energy. Where Mercury is kind of out of bounds. It's kind of beyond the normal. So our communication and what we're trying to say and talk and how we communicate to others is going to go a little bit crazy towards the middle of the week. All right, so be careful with that. Notice where you are with that. There is a lot, a lot of live energy and that collective consciousness brewing underneath the surface, all right? We're gonna see more come forward. All right, we've got that health bill going on. We've gotta be able to stand up and really voice our opinions. So we need that energy. I know here in Birmingham, the first uh, tomorrow, they're gonna be downtown. So I'm encouraging you, pull that collective energy forward. Get your voice out there and stand up for what it is you believe. That's what's happening right now in that collective consciousness with that Mercury beyond the boundaries. So you may notice in your everyday life this week, towards the middle of the week, it's going to get a little funky for you. So be sure to harness your energy now so that you can plan for that energy as well. Careful not to project your stuff on other people. All right. Be really careful to keep your energy grounded. We don't want to throw it out on everybody else. All right. Be careful about that and continually tap into that soul, that wild soul. That's what the summer's about. Sit back, have fun, bring some of that fire into your life and bring up that wildness of who you are. Wildness is kind of like that intuitive energy. Sometimes it just happens and we don't know the reasoning of it, but it just happens. So be able to tap into that. And that's what we're going to see towards the end of the week. We're moving into a holiday weekend. Yay, right? So get your work done in the beginning. Stay really focused. Kind of expect a little bit of um, craziness or miscommunication or indifference or maybe surprise energy to come towards the middle of the week. So the more that you can stay focused, the better it is for you. So what is it that you think right now? How will that help you this week? Give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you're out there hearing this. Let me know if this is going to make a difference for you as you move into the week. All right, we do have a vacation holiday week starting towards the end of the week. So some of us may find a shortened week. So that is all the more reason to be more productive in your energy as you go through Monday and Tuesday. Be clear on your communication. Open up to what it is you really want to focus on. Those intentions we set, even tonight, you still have a few more hours to set those intentions. So do that. Write them out. All right. Use this energy wisely. It can really help you to open up. We had kind of that double whammy of the cancer, the sun in cancer, moon in cancer, now the mercury in cancer. We have a lot of that energy, which is all about nurturing, nurturing that inner self, nurturing that inner spirit for yourself and for your home as well. So open up to that energy. And where can you find a little bit of that wildness? Yes, that's what I'm really embracing for myself this summer as I move into July and open up. Yeah, so as I mentioned before, being my birthday coming up, yes, I'm going to be offering lots of fun stuff in my group, the Empowered Spirit Circle. So I'd love for you to join me in there. All right, find it. Come on in. I'm offering some readings and programs. I've been posting. I will be posting more as I get closer and closer to my birthday. All right, so we're going to do an energy reading um, right now with the Wild Unknown deck. I'll be reading on them tomorrow, too, so you can call in on Blog Talk Radio 12 Central and get a reading. So for now, let's just see what the cards have to say about the week ahead as well, and then we'll do our energy focus. All right, so just take a nice deep inhale and open up to this energy. Inhale and exhale let's see what the cards have to say for us these are fun cards kim cran's cards the wild unknown they're new for me so i find i can open up and read them with the whole new perspective as well here we go this is for the collective group here we are all right so i'm going to draw the cards all right let's see what we got here first and foremost daughter of swords what a beautiful card to start with all right you see the owl you see the color in the background this is all about this is all about observing and watching, all right? This is a really good card. It's like someone that can kind of sit around and watch. However, there is a little warning with this card, and that's not to get too picky, all right? Don't get too pick, don't, you know, pick it to death, judge it too much of what's going on. Be sure to keep that mind clear and stay in that observing energy. That's kind of what's going to be really helpful for us, especially as we start out this week. Remember, we don't want to be too... We don't want to throw our energy out on other people. And that what, that's what can happen sometimes when we get too picky with everything around us, that energy of perfection. So step back a little bit 
All right, observe. That's the great beauty of this card. Hmm, the next card that comes up, I love this, is the Eight of Eight of Wands. See that, see that, that lightning coming in? It's all the color of the rainbow. So this is unexpected surprises happening rapidly. All right, a little shift in energy. Maybe even travel. All right, so some of us are traveling over the holiday weekend, so there you go. But look for those unexpected surprises. All right, it's also an eight, which is abundance. So things could shift, and it's of the wands. So it's that passion underneath, that wildness. This is exactly the card I'm looking for right now. Where is that wildness in your life? Give me a thumbs up for wildness. Yes, who would like a little bit of wildness in their life? All right, the next card is interesting too, the Seven of Swords. This is interesting. We drew this, I think in our in our summer school class, we were talking about this, Summer School at the Oracles. This is the Seven of Swords. This is a little bit about secrecy, all right? It's also, sevens are also about um, spirituality. So it's also in that intuitive, kind of that realm that we don't always awaken to or know that that's not in the logical, right? Sometimes it's hidden is what I'm trying to say. So you see there's six swords above and one that that little fox is sitting on. So maybe you have some secrets that need to come forward and maybe you are being kept from a secret. All right, so determine that energy for you. Be sure to look at it all the way through. That's where that observing card can come in. Observe the situation. All right, don't jump to conclusions, but know there's some unexpected surprises coming forward. And the card that's going to ground us here, this is nice. This is the Four of Pentacles. I actually do this for myself today up in the Medicine Wheel. It was beautiful because it looks like the Medicine Wheel in some respects. But this is about harmony and balance. This is about abundance in our life, the ability to create it, which is great. Now, the card that, the energy that comes with this too is, is kind of like a precautionary, don't hold on too tight. When we hold on too tight, we block the flow of our abundance, all right? So be sure to let that energy flow around. It's great to be in harmony. It's great to build our accounts, our money, but be careful not to hold on or control it too tight. All right, so as we go through the week, observe, stay focused, be productive in your work. Try not to get too picky with things. Don't get too judgmental. Don't throw your energy out on other people. Expect the wild. I love this card. Expect the unexpected. Things can change like that. So be aware and look for those changes in your life. Give me a half chat. Give me a hashtag wild. Yes, that's perfect. All right. Some kind of secrecy may come up. You might be the part of the secret that's being kept from you, or you may be the one keeping the secrets. All right. Be careful with secrets. Be very careful with this card. All right. Look around you. Observe. Remember this card. Observe. All right. And then as you come through to the end of the week and go off for holiday, just be really grounded and really balanced. Don't hold on too tight. Be with the earth. Be with the flow of abundance that is in your life. Take a nice deep inhale and just let that settle around, opening up to that wild energy. Take a nice deep inhale as we go to focus all of this energy for the week. So wherever you are, if you can, just feel your feet flat on the floor and take a nice deep inhale, bringing it up the body. And exhale, sending it all the way back down, deep into the earth. Inhaling, bringing it up the body. And exhale, sending it all the way down. Feel the feet flat on the floor, opening up those foot chakras. Feel that energy coming up through the legs into that first chakra, opening up for the abundance and sending it back down. And inhale, bring it all the way up the body through the first chakra, up into the crown, up into the heavens. And exhale, bring that heavenly energy down through the body. Send it down deep into the earth. Feel your feet grounded. And just for a moment, release the excess energy. Any excess energy you may have taken on from this weekend or from the week, just release it out. Let it go. Inhaling, opening up that energy all the way up. And exhale, bring it all the way back down, deep into the earth. Pull all your energy in as you go to focus for this week. Remember your intentions you set with this new moon. Open up through that third eye and send them out. Release them, no attachment. This or better, we tell the universe with these new intentions for this new moon. Inhaling and exhaling and just taking a moment 
and allow yourself to send energy out to your week. See it out ahead of you. See the obstacles removed. Allow some of that wild unknown to come in, those sudden changes. Be in a position to observe all around you. Visualize that week right now. This or better universe. Good, and now release any attachment. Let it go. Just let that energy be set out in the universe for you. Inhaling and exhaling. Sending that breath all the way down deep into the earth. Clear out the excess energy. Clear out all those excess feelings, all that mental chatter that the new moon may have brought in for you. Clear it out. Open the crown. Open your heart. Feel yourself centered. Feet on the floor. So we take a few more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Send it down. Inhaling and exhaling, opening up to this beautiful week ahead of you. Find some of that wild energy, that unexpected part that can open up for you. Feel your feet flat on the floor, coming back, opening your eyes. How you doing? So I hope this energy focusing will help you move into your week with intention, with an empowered spirit to go out there, to stand strong for who you are. Join me tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show. I'll be doing online readings. You can call 347-996-5387. I'm not sure if that's right. I'll post it tomorrow, but be sure to join me if you'd like your own reading. I'll be reading from this beautiful deck, The Wild Unknown. It's a lot of fun. It really is opening up a lot of energy right now. Thanks for the thumbs up. All right, if you have questions, post below. But come join me over in the Empowered Spirit Circle. That's where I'll be offering lots of different things through the month of July for my birthday. I've already had people coming in for readings, doing some Akashic Record readings. So do that. Join me, Empowered Spirit Circle. All right, guys, focus your energy. Stay strong. Be aware of what is around you. Open up to that wild part as we move into this beautiful summer energy. Thanks again for joining me. Find me over at the Empowered Spirit Circle. To your spirit, namaste.